is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. And welcome to Sunday's DCEU Daily. And Patty Jenkins just, just can't keep her mouth shut, which is brilliant. I love it when DCEU creators start talking and Patty Jenkins is talking about some very exciting stuff. She can't stop talking about Wonder Woman 3, which is brilliant. And she's been talking about whether or not there should be another Justice League. So first of all, let's talk about Wonder Woman 3. Definitely going to be set in the present. Yes, I love movies set in the past, mainly because I think uh, our past is better than our future or our present. But it's time to do a present day movie, which will be really exciting to see what she would do with that. And she really hasn't said anything else about it. Now on Justice League, she says, in her opinion, it's too soon for a Justice League movie. And I'm sorry, fellow DCEU fans, she's spot on. We need at least, I think we need at least another six standalone movies. I mean, would you really want another Justice League film? We're not talking about the Snyder Cut. Well, that's not the issue here. That's, a, that's a, you know, that's a, a, that's the director's cut that we want to see. That's different. But we're talking about doing another Justice League film. Um, no, it is too soon. We need to set up these characters properly. This is what they're doing. They're just trying to redefine what they're doing. How many times have some of you lot said, oh, look at what Marvel did. They took their time. They did standalone movies. This is what they want to do now. And there's no way that they want to copy the MCU. But what Fake did with those first five, six movies before Avengers Assemble was absolutely spot on and right. And they want to do the same thing. But our universe, as has already been told, said by the W Chip B chairman, is going to be totally different, you know. The DC playbook, as he said, is different to the MCU playbook. So nothing to worry about. So, yes, I absolutely agree with Patty Jenkins. It's way too soon for Justice League. We shouldn't have even went as far as going with Justice League so soon. And we all know now that Zack Snyder even said, let's do more standalone movies before we actually do a Justice League film. So what what would I have done if I was them? Um, I would have started off with Man of Steel. I'm a Superman fan, biased Superman fan. I would have started with Superman. I would have done a Batman film. If they wanted to do the Dark Knight Returns parts one and two, that would have been quite awesome as well. And represent Henry Cavill's Superman like they do in in, in that graphic novel. That would have been quite interesting. Um, Suicide Squad as a third movie, no. Um, I, would never have, I've, I would never have gone that way. Um, I think... Um, I think Wonder Woman should have been the third movie. I think you know she's you know she's you know she she's the she's she's I can't speak. She's free of of the best superheroes, not just in the DC comics, but in actually any comic book. She is you know you know you've got Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Spider Man. For me, they're the four most awesome characters in comics. The four most awesome superheroes. So she should have come third. Some may argue she should have been first. I can't argue with that. I'm just a biased Sigman film. It's not about gender. Calm it down. But, yeah, so then I would have done Wonder Woman third. Then I would have done The Flash. And then I would have done Cyborg. And then I would have done Aquaman. Then I would have done a Justice League movie. And it would have been successful. Because already you set up the tone. You set up these characters. You know these characters now. And you're thinking, oh my God, imagine when they're together in a film. This is what happened with Avengers Ensemble, right? This is what happened because you saw these characters. You knew what they were going to do. They were doing the post credit scenes. What Fake did was genius. What Fake did was right. I don't agree with everything Fake does. I think he's totally fucked up Spider-Man um, in the MCU. I think Spider-Man Homecoming was a very average, mediocre film. But what he did was setting up the Avengers film, the first one, absolutely spot on. And this is what we need to do now. So Patty Jenkins, please don't go on Twitter giving Patty Jenkins hate. She doesn't deserve it. Um, she's a very clever lady. And she gave us a wonderful Wonder Woman movie, one of the best superhero films I've ever seen. Beautifully looking, beautifully written, beautiful music, everything. That film is just amazing to me. It really is just like Man of Steel and BVS. But some of you are going to say, hang on a minute, you would have done a Dark Knight Returns, not Batman v Superman. Yes, it was too soon. It was too soon. 
for a Batman v Superman. I love that movie. I'm glad we've got it. I couldn't live without it now. I've got that film on repeat. That's not the point. We're talking about how you make a successful cinematic universe. And that would have been a fully ledged. Because Zack wanted to do an older uh, Batman, that would have made sense. Personally, I would never have gone the older Batman direction. I would have gone down, you know, let's just start the character. Either I would have would have been stalking Christian Bale and Christopher Nolan to introduce their, their Batman into the DCEU somehow. Because really, for me, this is where the big mistake is with the DCEU. Nolan's Batman should have been the first part of it. So when they did Man of Steel, they should, you know, that universe, those universes should have intertwined, right? Now, I'm not saying that Man of Steel, Superman should have met Batman straight away, but we could have had something. Even if we get had Bale's Batman getting the kryptonite, stealing the kryptonite, right? That would have been awesome. But yes, you know, because Nolan and Goya already set up a great kind of Batman trilogy. Why not make that part of the DCEU? Because then it's got the strength that people say, oh my God, Superman's now going to be part of this universe. So you've already got an existing universe. So that was a mistake. But Nolan was not interesting, interested in keep, you know, bringing in you know, his Batman universe into the DCEU. This is where the mistake was from the very beginning. Because you've got a popular Batman. You know, Ben Affleck had a hard job because he wasn't Christian Bale. And, you know, Zack Snyder had a hard job, even though Christopher Nolan brought Zack into the franchise. People weren't going to accept anyone doing Batman apart from Chris. You know, you saw the reaction yesterday online when they announced Chris's new film is out in 2020. People are already saying, we don't care what the film is, we're going to go and see it anyway. And I spoke about it here, hoping he's a man of still too. Unlikely, but we can hope, can't we? So that's where the mistake was. So, yeah. If you want to go down the old Batman, I would have done the Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and 2, and I would have been very faithful to that graphic novel. So, yeah, so once you've done all the standalone movies, then you do a Justice League movie, and I think that's amazing, and I think we would have had a really successful franchise on our hands already. I still love it, and the truth of the matter is, more people talk about the DCEU than the MCU. The DCEU is more in interesting to talk about even if you don't like the uh, DCEU, even if you despise the DCEU, those people even talk about it more. Even those people tell me on the quiet that there's really nothing to debate about the MCU. It's, you know, you either like it or you don't. It's, it's there. I suppose it's like the He-Man cartoon when I grew up. Some of us loved it and it inspired us and some of us just thought it's a crappy cartoon. That's, that's, that's what the MCU is. It's extremely popular. But there's nothing there to really discuss. Even with Infinity War, you could kind of say, oh, well, was Thanos right or wrong for what he did? That's a great, interesting debate. But beyond that, because the um, MCU isn't very interesting, isn't very deep, they're just generic films. You watch them, you forget them. But the DCEU has a lot of controversy to it. There's a lot of depth. They, they mostly give us uh, great villains. Um, not the Suicide Squad one, but yeah. Mostly we get great villains. I mean, you would say that the, vi the villains in Wonder Woman weren't great villains, but they weren't supposed to be. That was about Wonder Woman taking on her mantle, not about having Ledger's Joker or anything like that. But, you know, Zod and Orm. And, you know, when you see Dr. Sivana in Shazam, you're going to be really excited about him. So definitely, even though so far, I think Lex Luthor was brilliant. I think that Orm was brilliant, and I think Zod was brilliant, and I think they're the three best super superhero movie villains I've seen so far. Um, so I think that um, we, we we do that better. I think the MCU have just totally failed with with their villains, apart from apart from Thanos, of course, who is absolutely fabulous. Um, so yes, yeah, so personally, I agree with Patty. I don't think we need a Justice League film right now. Just focus on these movies and so it's very exciting but why is patty jenkins already talking about wonder woman 3 what you must understand about this industry there's always a reason for everything are they scared that people are frustrated about wonder woman 1984 being in 1984 rather than present day well i doubt it the reaction has been beautiful and with stranger things really popular you know eight, the 80s is one of the most popular um kind of decades of the past so I'm very interested to see. Now, there was nothing 
in the Shazam test screening, I can tell you about Wonder Woman, but test screens, as I keep on telling you, that it isn't the complete picture. It's just literally sometimes even kind of a rough cut. They just want you to get the tone and things like that. What I'd say is, um, is there a chance that something from what about Wonder Woman is in Shazam? And this is why she's talking about Wonder Woman 3 already. I don't know. But it seems rather odd that they're talking about Wonder Woman 3 already. And I think this is very, very interesting. And I think this could have something, some kind of consequences for the Snyder Cut. Not negative ones, positive ones. Because we had those rumours from Grace Randolph uh, last year about Wonder Woman doing a flashpoint and her changing something that changes the universe. This is extremely interesting. And this is what I said a long time ago, after Justice League and the reaction to it. Because we're in a comic book verse, because there are multiverses, there's so many ways you can change things that have happened in that Justice League film, if you're not happy with it. There's lots of ways you can say, well, this, this version of Superman's from the, another multiverse, and that's how you give us another version of Superman. I'm not saying Henry's leaving, but if they wanted to do that, they could. There's so many easy ways... So when people were talking reboots after Justice League, I said, no, nah, no way, no way. I said, because um, there's other ways they can tweak and change what they want to change. You know, because at the end of the day, there's some good films in there. You don't go back and start again. That would be insane. People just wouldn't take you seriously. But tweaking what you've already done is fine and people will accept that. And as I said, Aquaman is that moment, is that Avengers Ensemble moment. It's our time now. I've seen quite a few videos now to find and finally saying the MCU's time is done and it's time for the DCEU to stand up. Now, I can't see a problem with both franchises being successful, but that's not how the world works. You know, what have we had? 20 MCU films? I think it's certainly time for the DCEU to rise.